Hello my good people. What? Are you there? Uko Saudi Arabia. Unafanya kazi ya maid na akili yako inajiambia mimi nataka nimalize contract. Nikimaliza contract siwezi fanya kazi ya nyumba tena. Naenda kulipa commission niende Qatar. Naenda nilipe commission niende nifanye kazi ya clean na mimi siwezi fanya kazi ya hamamu tena. Mimi siwezi fanya. Mm -hmm. Uko hapo. Sit down. You listen to this before you make your decision. Okay? Kuna vile kuna advantages na disadvantages za kufanya kazi ya krina za kufanya na kufanya kazi ya maid. Sana sana ukikompea kufanya kazi Saudi Arabia ya nyumba na kufanya kazi ya krina waiter ama security in Qatar or any other countries. So long as you will pay commission. Keep in mind hawezi pata hizi jobs za cleaner, waiter na security bila kulipa commission. Na, com na commission huwa inakuja 150,000 kwa agent mwenye utalipa. Na on top of that you have to pay uh, medical, yellow fever, everything, all expenses is upon you. So you have to do your calculation well before you do your decision. You get your decision. So leo niko hapa kuwaelimisha na kuwachanua wenye huo mnasema ati mimi siwezi fanya kazi ya nyumba tena. Mimi nikishamaliza hapa siwezi kagambana na waiguru tena. Mimi naenda kufanya kazi ya kirina. Mimi afadhali nilipe commission. Mimi nafanya na mimi nafanya. Mhm. Mm Kaa chini usikie. Alafu at the end of this video guys utaamua ama utaandika pale kwa kom, kwa comment section use unia, u, uandike pale tuone what is your opinion. First thing is to keep in mind is wakati unataka kumaliza contract Umaliza contract kama ni Saudi Arabia, ulikuwa ukipewa 1,000 Saudi Arabian real. Wakati utarudi kwa hiyo nyumba, haufai kupewa same amount salary. Unafaa kuongezewa pesa. Either inaweza kuwa ni 12, ikuwe 1,200 ama 1,300. Let us take it to be 1,200. Okay? Mwacha tuende na ukienda kazi kufanya kazi kama ya security ya waitress ya greena katal utaenda kupewa 1500 that has take it to be 1500 but before tukuja kwa salary nataka niwaambie advantages za kukuwa greena ama waitress ama security in katal na nashukua katal ni, ni example tu ya kufanya kazi za nje bila kufanya kazi za ndani kazi yenye unaenda kulipa commission wakati umeenda kufanya hiyo kazi advantage moja inakuanga you will be free yes and that is what we usually fight for yes utakuwa free lakini kuna siri moja yenye watu hawafishi wangi utakuwa free yes utaweza tembea Lakini kutembea kwenye unatembea ni lazima utumie pesa. Yes. Utakuwa smart. Eh, yeah, utakuwa ukisuka nywele. Eh, yeah. lakini kusuka nywele yenye unasuka si ati ni kampuni yenye itakuwa ikikulipia. Hakuna mtu mwingine atakuwa akitoa pesa na kulipia. Ni pesa yako utakuwa ukitoa. Yes. Aha. Kuna siri ingine yenye watu hawasemangi wakati umeenda kufanya kazi kwa, kwa kama krina wewe die utajipea shakula kampuni mingi hazipeangi mtu shakula so wanakuanga wanamekuambia uh, kampuni inakupea pesa kama inakupea 1300 1300 alafu 200 ni, ni ni food so keep in mind unajipea food okay so that is part of advantages utakuwa utakuwa na freedom utatembea kwenye unataka utakaa ukiwa smart utasuka nywele ukitaka utakuwa too smart utakuanga too smart washa tuseme hivyo but kuna zile disadvantages 
zenye zinakuanga kwa kazi ya security ya hizo Se disadvantage moja ni hakuna wifi yenye utapewa yes utaweza kuwa accommodation yenye uko iko na wifi but keep in mind haufanyi kazi kwa accommodation kwenye unaenda kufanya kazi ya cleaning maybe hakuna wifi hautapewa wifi so at the end of every month you have to credit your phone with data okay hiyo part bado ni part ya pesa yako yenye unatumia okay disadvantage ingine ni wewe ukifi utaweza fikiria ati unaenda kupewa ukitoka kama Kenya ukienda kufanya kazi ya security ya cleaner unafikiria una, unafikiria yanga huwa unaenda kukaa vyenye unataka lakini utaenda upate unaishi kama mwanafunzi yes unapata mnaishi kwa hall ama ikiwa hata ni cube ama ni, ni room ni room yenye mko watu kama nane imewekwa beds kama nne zile za za two two beds kama za shule so that is another vim that watu hawali feel okay hizo ni part of disadvantages advantage of being a maid advantage ya kukuwa maid ni mod, ni hii Uki, ukiwa umepewa wifi ukiwa umepewa wifi you have wifi throughout hakuna siku utaihesabu pesa ya kuweka simu yako credit okay advantage nyingine ni sana sana wenye wanafanyanga kazi Saudi Arabia huwa wana wana provideiwa na everything utaweza pata boss wako anakununulia kila kitu mafuta nini kila kitu anakuwa anakuwa accommodate na anakupea kila kitu maybe unaweza pata uko na room yako kama Saudi Arabia uko na room yako so uko na your privacy that is another advantage okay let us come to the comparison of the salary where ha, mahali kwenye tunafaa kuangalia sana wachana na hizi vitu zingine za starehe sijui nini na nini lakini tukuje pale kwa 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 calculation ya pesa sababu tumetoka Kenya tumekuja gaf kutafuta pesa na wakati umefanya kazi umeweka pesa yako mwisho wa mwezi kwa bank hakuna siku itajiandika hii ni ya hamam hii ni ya kirina hii ni ya witres hii, hii ni ya nini okay so kulingana na calculations zangu sijui kama utaona zikilingana lakini kulingana na mimi vyenye nimezifanya naona zi, ni kama zitakuwa at least okay umetoka pale Kenya ulikuwa ukifanya kazi na umeenda Saudi Arabia kama maid unaenda unapewa 1200 okay ukitoka ukienda kwa Saudi ukitoka Kenya uende Qatar ufanye kazi ya Krina utapewa 1500 so kwa comparison ni different of 300 okay wacha tuende sasa kwa expenses expenses utaenda utoe kwa kila mwezi maid atatoa 100 yenye at least atakuwa akisema ni ya expenses zake sijui ati unataka ununue mafuta unataka ununue kitu kingine vitu kama hizo ni 100 enda kwa krina mwenye ako cleaning ako kwa krina okay yeye hapewi wifi so hata ikiwa anapewa wifi anapewa wifi na anataka at least akuange online all the time Ata, ataweza ata, ataongeza pesa atatoa 100 kwa salary yake ya data okay imebaki 14 kwa yani kwa expenses zake ni 100 200 ya food na wacha tuweke 100 ya nywele okay na 100 ingine ya nini ya at least raha zako unataka ukue ukienda tra, uki tra, uki travel ukienda kwa raha zako maybe unataka ununue kaguo kazuri wakati unatembea ukue smart vitu kama hizo so ni lazima uweke kama hiyo 100 so at the end of it at the end of the month ukitoa expenses zako umebaki na 1000 as a cleaner as a maid umetoa 100 umebaki na 100 na 1100 okay mahesabu hatujamaliza tunataka tuendelee kufanya hesabu okay at the end of the year of two years mwenye ameenda kufanya kazi kwa 
kwa akiwa maid atakuwa na elfu ishirini na, na sita na nilikuwa nimefanya hesabu mwenye atakuwa ameenda kufanya kazi ya maid atakuwa ni 21 24 times 11 yenye inakuja 26 400 that is Saudi Arabian real ama Qatar real okay mwenye anaenda kufanya kazi ya maid ya 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 housekeeping ama waitress yenye tunalinganga nayo cleaner au nini ana atabaki na 24 hadri 24000 24000 kata real ama Saudi Arabian real okay kulingana na mahesabu zangu mimi niliweza kuangalia nikaona yule mtu wa wa waiter ama cleaner mwenye alienda Qatar ni lazima atatoa ile pesa yenye ali, alinunua kazi yake sababu hiyo ni capital aliweka pale akanunua kazi yake na kazi yake alinunua pesa ngapi alilipa 160 160000 so that is like 4000 Qatar real or Saudi Arabian real kuligana na rate ya 40 so anabaki na pesa ngapi 20000 Okay I hope up to there tuko, tuko pamoja tuko pamoja so saa hiyo amebaki na so calculation zangu mimi nikifanya zilikuwa zikiingiana aje mwenye ameenda kufanya kazi ya maid mwisho wa 2 years contract atabaki atakuwa na 26400 Okay na mwenye atakuwa akie, ameenda kufanya kazi ya krina atakuwa na 24000 na ah, atakuwa na 20000 katalial tukimultiply hiyo pesa na rate ya 40 mwenye kufanya kazi ya maid anabaki na 1 million uh, six, 56 na 56000 na mwenye kufanya kazi ya krina anabaki na 96 thousand 900,000 and 60,000 uh-huh so different between uh wa made na cleaner ni 96,000 do your calculation guys do your calculation just leave a comment what is your opinion calculation zako zimeingiana uta decide kufanya kazi gani ya starehe ama yenye utafungiwa na uende nyumbani na pesa leave your comment guys thank you